H.W. H.W., what you doing, man? You jamming on the old, uh, the old, uh, let's see. Is that the old uh, uh, 412? Yeah, 412. Anybody live in the 412? I used to have an area code that was 412. Anyway, dudes, today we are talking about um, a, a an underrated Kemper profile, and really an underrated amp. Now, how do I know it's underrated, you might say? HW, how do you know what's underrated? What's overrated? What's accurately rated? Well, it's because no one really bought this pack. This is probably one of the worst selling packs of all time, but it is not one of the worst packs of all time. It's one of those amps that I just don't think gets a ton of love. It's the 64 Gibson Hawk. Um, now, most of you probably own this. A lot of people own the Everything Pack, and this is from a while ago. So if you bought the Everything Pack, like, any time in the last year, year and a half, you probably have this because I think I put this out in like January of 2023. So you've probably got it in there. There were two versions of it. There was a 64 Hawk by itself and there was, there was a 64 Hawk that was a part of the, the Gibson collection and or the Kalamazoo collection. I forget what I called it, but, but anyway, it's a great amp and it's what I love about it is it's every bit as good as the Fenders of the era. 64, 65. The Hawk had two tens, two ten Jensen's, which also made it similar. But it had a couple different channels that I thought were really great, and it has a beautiful tremolo sound. Um, and so when I turn the Hawk on, I tend to go for channel two with the tremolo on uh, and like a good amount of spring reverb, and that sounds like this. <laughs> It's a really beautiful humbucker clean, um, and, and let me just show you, like if you take all these effects off, you're, you're left with a really beautiful clean sound. I'll just leave, actually I'll leave nothing on. <laughs> It's a really, really beautiful sound. Now, there is, uh, that's channel one. Channel two is probably my favorite. I'm gonna switch it over right here. And um, it loads up like this, and I love, I absolutely um, love this sound. <laughs> It's instantly mellower. I love that, especially with this Les Paul on the neck. It's just so fast. Thank you. 
it's so lovely being able to just get all those like different colors from an amp like this. And a lot of it's a guitar, I know, but like, um, it just, it's all in there. There's like a little bit of twang, there's some heft, and even on like this fatter sound that, you know, sounds like this. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful humbucker cleans to me. It's, in, it's a Les Paul, so are we going to get it in tune? Close enough. It's, it's, it's like fat enough to do that. And even on this little twangy thing... Really like to pit close to the bridge, you know. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, really, really, really lovely thing, I think. And, um, you know, you can put a little, like, a tube screamer. That's that trombone tone. I just realized it sounds like that because I turned on a fuzz, not a tube screamer. That would be a very gnarly tube screamer. That is a cool sound. Uh, it's like the woman tone, I guess. I'm going to roll that, that tone up and you get this. Woo! That's a sounds like my Uncle Willie playing a kazoo. It really does. It's a really good tone. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Anyway, sometimes, you know, it's these profiles, it's these tones that just get kind of um, forgotten about. You know, the 64 Hawk is not like... The one that the the quintessential clean amp, you know, I think if anything, people think of a um, a twin or but this is like to me, like Gibson's version of a Vibralux. I don't think the circuit is that Vibraluxy, but the two tens and just the general vibe of Gibson, what they were doing in the 60s in that Crestline era, it give it that that sort of thing. So this is one you probably already own. And um, I like this. I'm going to do more of these like, hey, don't forget about this. Because there's a lot of gems, man. There's a lot of gems. I am not kidding when I tell you. I get emails from people. Hey, this profile is my sound. It's been my sound for two, three years, for a year, for whatever. And it's always like an obscure one that people really fall in love with. And that's where I think um, the beautiful thing about modelers and Kempers and quad cortex captures and tonex captures is we all get so used to playing you know, deluxes and AC30s. And those are great. Don't get me wrong. I love them. Um, but I kind of like a Vibralux more. And I kind of like this alternate Vibralux more. And the real one I have is humming like, uh, you know, uh, it's, you know, uh, it's just humming. It's humming like a Hummer, you know, mm, I don't know, like an electric Hummer. Mm, you know, they, they made that law when you go in reverse, you gotta go, mm, you gotta have like a certain decibel, you know? Okay, time to end. HW, this has been Hawk, uh, 64 Hawk profiles that you uh, may have forgotten about.